paper real quick, which I'm going to do as I speak. We're back with another little bit of a thunder cast here, because all sorts of casting partners have disappeared and or been otherwise indisposed, perhaps taking a shit. Only time will tell, but we've got all the usual suspects here, and Tony Compton, and John Gale, and J-Rod, and Toxinator, and Jules maybe will show up at some point if he finishes his mac and cheese and chicken tendies. And of course his mom allows him to come outside to play, and we have got ourselves the KTP Silver Finals. Yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be a good match. These teams are super duper evenly matched. Literally a one point difference between them the one time they played this season. They've scrimmed each other a lot. They've prepared for this match for ages. It's North America versus Brazil. Shit's going to be crazy. Best of three. I forgot that part. We got some Anzio. We got some Harrington. And then if necessary, we got some Railroad 2 which we've had a lot of lately, of course. There's Twist in the Twitch stream. Twist is back. There's Cam. Everybody's all over the place. I don't... Ah, okay, the stream is working good for a second. I didn't know if the HLP... Or not the HLP, the, the stream had it up. But it looks like uh, Clinic is all in the server. We did just scrim them on Anzio and Harrington. What'd you guys uh, think about their efforts in those scrims? How'd they look? About like I expected. Uh, Thank you, Vic. Drink stiffly. Their rifles. Not nothing against their heavies. Mearson's good. Tom's good. Yeah, I think I think they got this. I think we're gonna see a 2-0. There it is. Sweep. Clinic winning lower here. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I do think that Clinic's got this. Um, I mean, heavyweights though. We we played them a bunch of season two, and they have given us a run for our money a couple times, especially on Harrington in particular. So Harrington will be an interesting one, and obviously they played each other on Harrington in, in week one, and it was a one point game. So you know, we'll see. I, I'm curious to see if heavyweights deploys the old uh, complexity 2005 strat on this map again with with Nay or somebody prone at street on Axis. But I I imagine Clinic will be prepared for that with Nades. Yeah, and have you like this map was I think week two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so yeah. It's been a while since people have played this, and I'm not sure heavyweights has scrimmed much leading up to this. Another reason I'm a little worried about them. Right. But yeah. They they have played well in scrims against Thunder when they do play. It's usually with PDX yeah. ringing, so you know a little bonus for them, but it's still a good team. Right. I'm very. I I've been pretty hyped up about this match ever since it was obviously what what came about from the semifinal situations i think this is going to be a crazy crazy match obviously clinic has gotten some more scrims in that hw has i don't think heavyweights got to scrim at all this week at least um but they've been playing together for a while and they were probably the most active team in in silver or gold for most of the season give them the bitch moves laura says <laughs> That, the editing in that movie is so great, and there's so many ridiculous shots in that. That that thing probably has more ridiculous shots than my own movie would have right now. So I think the lineups are going to be pretty much exactly as you'd expect. Um, you know, for heavyweights, you got Braddock, who appears to be on a Thompson, along with Nay on a Thompson, and then Jules, Rafinha on the rifles, Matt on a heavy. I I'm guessing one of those other guys is going to be on a heavy. Yeah, I would be surprised if Braddock also lighted here, but yeah, you know, Nate that, Marcos is not sniping, so anything's <laughs> up here, I guess. Right? Yeah. Anything could happen. And there's Candy joining, of course. Third rifle for Clinic. We got Insom and Suave, Suave, Suavevi on the other cars, and Carp sniping. Um, Bic and Tom on the heavies. So I mean, just ah, this is gonna be exciting. I gotta remember to record. I don't want to forget to record after after being so good for the last like month at recording every demo. I'll forget to record one of these finals demos, of course. Just like I forgot to hit the stupid fucking uh, bind in the scrim before this for the Anzio Axis half, and now I'm pissed about it. I'm gonna just start recording now, actually. Okay, I think that'll suffice. We 
We've got 12 in the server. We've got big time finals. This is, I feel the tensity. I probably feel more tense than either of the teams do, to be honest. I do notice that there's not as many heart tags as you used to see in finals match. This used to be the chance to like put whoever you wanted to put a heart tag for, and you knew everybody would see it because there'd be a stream or there'd be like a couple hundred people in the HLTV. And now we just have Nay doing it, and Nay didn't even mention cousin Corey in his, and I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a little bit depressed. Yeah, you know, maybe he's trying to just throw some love to Coach PDX. Yeah, definitely with the PDX. I'm not sure who Larry is, uh, and I'd like to find out. Unless he thinks my name's Larry, in which case it's not, but I appreciate the shout-out. Larry does kind of sound like Corey. And, uh, yeah, um, I'm very, very curious to see if there's any sort of weird strat fuckery coming from either team on either map, because this is the time to bump it out. There it is, Larry's Laura. That makes more sense than Corey. <laughs> the bear called me the greatest shoutcaster, and he called me Larry, which I think I'm just going to have to adopt as my new name now. So, thank you, everyone. I'm now Larry. Where's John Gale? I haven't heard John Gale talk at all. What's up? There he is. What do you have to say about this matchup? Uh, I'd be curious to see what Clinic does after our scrim. Uh, especially on ally side, if they're going to switch up what they were doing. Right, make some adjustments. Yep. So I'm kind of looking out for that. Uh, overall, I mean, I remember playing heavyweights a couple times in scrims over the last couple months. They were pretty annoying to play against. Right, for sure. So I could see this uh, being pretty close. I know you said you think a 2-0. I think it might go to a game three. It very well could go to a game three, too. I think the Harrington is uh, going to be a wild card. Yeah, Harrington always is these days, too. Will we see cap-outs from Sheer Force and Frags or Sneaky Ninja shit? I'm thinking that we'll see a little bit of both, to be honest. Especially on this map. I think on Harrington, usually it comes down to just Sheer Brute Force. But on this map, you can get, you know, both jump windows can be pretty good for ninjas. You can get pushed up into places like next to the water trough on Allied side and chilling Sundial. And we're going live already. All right. Wow. Here we fucking go. KTP Silver Season 1 Finals, Clinic and Heavyweights. I'm going to start off with... Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch it, whoever I land on. Braddock. He's got the front spawn. I meant that. Caleb in, in the HLTV. Same with Till. Here we go. Let's see what Braddock does with this front spawn. Oh, he's got a bar, so really I shouldn't have been watching him because he's just going to nade main ramp. He's actually nading street. All right. So we should see a quick cap on Plaza here. No one picked this map, William. Oh, I'm getting a couple follows, and I can't see the uh, notifications. Looks like it was Highball Bees. Hey, there it is. Oh, Bees, thank you again, Mitch. I appreciate it. Good game today, man. That was a tough one. And the, the requisite uh, Anzio initial here, but that's four down quickly on Clinic now, actually. Vic is alive here at the first. Um, but Axis side tend to get that bridge first. Allied side tend to get the plaza first. I do remember playing heavyweights on this map, actually, and their sniper likes to sit in the uh, church. He does, very much so. And look at that, they get the bridge now, too, and this is an interesting start here for heavyweights. Vic does grab one up in Sundial, but heavyweight's going to be looking to push up bridge. Got to grab their one, which I'm sure someone will on respawn. Jules gets candy out of crack as well. And this is a pretty crazy start here for heavyweights. Right off the bat, looking great, a minute 20 into this first map. Rafinha going to get himself up into up here. Oh, wow, there's a huge sub train by Mitch. Thank you, Mitch. Wow. That just scared the shit out of me, too. Can't get any space here. Can heavyweights? Or uh, can clinic? I mean, heavyweights is just really putting on the pressure. Tom does grab street. Good call. I know it's tempting to, to bait that flag a lot of the time. It's a heavy. Just to try to get that kill. And Braddock comes through pre-fire. Nice shot. Going to grab street. Clinic has to get into a, a hold position here on the first flag, and someone gets naded off the first as well. It's in some. Braddock spams down Carpenter on top of short. He's going to push up. Mirison gets one big clutch kill by Candyman. I think he's the last alive there. They just respawn, though. He Another nade coming. Didn't get anyone, but they are all lit to pieces now. Candy's going to push down into the street. I think he'll run into some trouble here, though. He does. It's Nay covering up in street with the Tommy. Going to grab that back. And that is Four a down. lot. Very quick. Tom has to hold Tom on to street. Last one in street. He gets one. 
He's, oh. it's, it's it. He hears him jumping all over the place. Tom looking for a second. He gets a second. Oh. Detonate is there. Oh no. Oh, no. no. He almost did it there. That was so unfortunate two, timing. One too many. One too many. Yep. Yeah. Is this Bad. a Thundercast? It is a Thundercast, J-Rod. Nice. Welcome. <laughs> a little bit late for the start of the match, but Heavyweight just capped three minutes in right off the bat. And that is a solid 55-point lead for Heavyweights here, starting off on Allied side of Anzio. Carpenter looking for the opening pick. No one going to peek. As is standard now on Anzio. It used to be like you go flying up that loft, but now you're just like, no, the sniper will kill me. And so I'm guessing Axis will get the bridge. Allies will get the plaza. Man with 2K there in plaza. And there it is. Pretty standard stuff off the initial. Then you try to retake the bridge, try to retake the plaza. And there's a double nade right after the cap by Jules as well. Going to be all on Carp to hold this on. See if he can do it. That that Tom almost clutch was crazy. Wow, and Rafinha just picks Carpenter out of hut here. This is going to be a bridge cap. Oh, nope, Suave with a break and a second kill. Big break by Suave. Hero play by him at the end of bridge. And that's three down quickly on heavyweight side. Let's see what's up in Plaza. Jules with a big nade primed. Man with another kill in Plaza. He is up in tower like John Gale predicted. And another kill for Man. He is going off right now to start off this match. Yeah, he loves being up there for yeah, sure. Yeah, he will not be sitting down beneath the tower at all. You nope. can just pre-fire that tower all day. Tom going to pick up the sniper. He is a natural sniper. Oh, no, the sniper disappeared right before he could. He did hit a bar snipe on me up there in the scrims earlier, so he might go for it here. Man's down to three health, so... Oh, that would do it. Doesn't even need to hit him in the face. You can hit him right in the toe. Oh, one down main ramp. And a grand butt for Jules on Swab. One does get into street for heavyweight. Street is theirs. Candyman is in their back lines, though. He gets a double stuss there. Gonna pick up the car. He's gonna have his free reign of the map right now. Heavyweights was not prepared for that push Z, and that's four down. Candy's going to beach with the car. And that's five. Six down right there. This should be a full cap. Cap, yes. If I'm Candy, I'm going, yep, right there. There it is. They do it right back. And there it is. Clinic took a second to wake up, but we got ourselves a match in the finals. Nine point differential now in favor of heavyweights. Frags are about ten to them. A little bit of a tough start for Insom. He will pick it back up inevitably, though. He's too good not to. Matt at one and two. A little bit of slow play going on in Plaza. Man's getting all the kills there. Yeah, that was a huge MVP play by Candyman, pushing up Z and getting that, those flank kills. Vic does get an opening pick on one of the heavies. Man finds Tom in double windows. There will be a rifle here somewhere, too. <laughs> Paul. Oh, and a TK nade by Ensom gets Candy there. Candy did get two stout skills on bridge. Now Ensom's push Z. He finds one. Ooh, gets hit down to 10 by Nay. They know he's at beach spawn right now. He gets there a little late, and Rafinha finds him before he can put any damage in. Rafinha will get a free car there. Oh my god, and now Kanga just dropped a 10, 10 sub bomb. Again, getting all this love from the Skull guys. Thank you, Jesse. I really appreciate that so much. You guys always do this to me, and then I just like, you know, I just cheese out for the rest of the cast here. Vic does get mid back for Clinic. And right now, Clinic, not they didn't get the bridge off this initial. I think that they didn't feel comfortable about it based on the way the previous initial went. Tom getting up a tower here. Gonna have to make a sound cue. Jules gets two off bridge. Not sure if Heavyweight says someone else there. I want to see if Tom can manage to flank anybody here. Heavyweight's going to get it, though. Yep, they're prone up on it. No one there to break it. Wall spam's incoming for me. Jules looking for that frag. Spamming away. Not quite landing yet. Man does find Tom in church after he got the first flag, so... That's three down quickly, though. The, t uh, the dead nade to Tom, and that's four! Braddock, one of the two left alive here for Heavyweights. Braddock and Rafinha, one at each spot. Rafinha gets candy. Looking for a second, pulls out the pistol, and he does get the second. Rafinha looking for the third. Clinic take map control everywhere but bridge right now. 20 HP, and Tom with a big nade takes him down. That opens up bridge for Clinic. Let's see if they can grab a cap off the back of that. They should be flooding bridge to break this right now. Jules with a preemptive nade ready for it. Tom finds him. Tom with a sniper rifle, going to be happy with that. Suave is fragging at beach right now. He takes a lot of damage from Man there. Man looking for to finish this kill. And he does, but I don't know if he's got time. Insom finishes him off. Matt runs into the cap zone. Oh, he isn't able to get anyone. 
He broke it, but they're not going to get it back. And Clinic with a second cap in a matter of two minutes there. And that is a 42-point lead. Or 32. Math is hard. A lot of action. A lot of action. You don't usually see back and forth full caps like this on Anzia, but I like it. Let's see. Anyone got an interesting spawn to go with? Not really. Just top fragging for heavyweights, as expected. Yep. Of course. Vic with the opening pick there on Nay. And Swab finds the sniper as well. That's three down Plaza. Jules does trade it off on Vic. Insom pushes E. They're going for the cap. They should get it before they die to this nade. Oh, the nade only gets one. Okay. Nice shot there for Insom onto Matt. He's going to push up rope again. He, the spawn rave will beat him here, though. He does get one of them, though, looking for more. And a flick shot there on Braddock. And he hears one flanking him. Will he get him? He will He's not. Late. Push up to the one instead. He definitely hears the guy running next to him. He's in jump window now. Okay. Oh, he heard the jump, too. Oh. He's being chased right now. He does get taken <laughs> down just in time for a heavyweight to get that first flag back. I was like, I swear to God, Jules there's a guy was back. chasing him around. Oh. Uh, Rafinha looking for the break here. He's going to run to the cap. Nope. Candyman finds him before he can. Clinic going to push for another full cap here. Matt gets one. Heavyweights make their way up to pizza here. There are a couple guys in lower church for Clinic. They're going to get fully into post up in the lockdown the plaza cap mode. Hopefully Heavyweights doesn't get too anxious and try to push up on a bridge before they have Plaza locked down. Tarp does find the opposing Sniper, and Candyman's up and jump window ninja. The yeah, HW does seem to be panicking a little bit when it comes down to, like, being at their first flag. And Oh, what a nade forces Candyman out of the jump, and Braddock's ready for him. Just two left or three left here on HW. They're it's looking for the frag. They're spawn. Uh-oh. Insom back up to beach, gets two. Looking for a third. And he's taken down, but Merson pushed out to the one. He's going to be able to get it. He does. And another cap. What is that? Four caps? Five? Yeah, four caps in less than half of the first half. Insanity. Yeah, people just holding down W right now, flying around. For Do real. You know whose map pick this was? Uh, it, it was the decided, like the big three maps. So it was just this is the order of it. Oh, uh, okay. Jules at 18 and 8 right now, making Cousin Jules proud. And uh, let's see how this initial goes again. Oh, Clinic gets three frags right off the initial again. And a fourth by Candy pushing Z. He is taken down by Jules. Insom looking to trade that. Braddock gets suave, and Insom does trade it. That's a bridge cap for Clinic. No one's there to cap Plaza. Nope. And Tom might be able to pick up the guy who's on the Plaza cap. No, he likes to fall back in the street. Keeping the map control over the frag. Heavyweights just now getting up to their first. Insom looking to get Craig's rope here. Pre-firing away. One HP on him. And Jules pushes him and gets him with a pistol. Clinic's setting up for a plaza cap here. Lots of kills on Clinic's side. They will get on the cap. Matt gets one. He's traded right away, though, and that will be a cap here for Clinic. I think, right? Yeah, there it is. Oh, Braddock's back with a nade, and he gets another one. Tom trades it right away. He's going to push to the one now, though. Nope, falls back. They're going to go get on the cap again. Makes safe play. Yep, smart move. And HW will not be able to break it this time. Too far away. Now they have to post up on the one. And they are panicking a little bit when they get to this last flag scenario. Swab finds Jules and Pizza. Candyman's going up to tower. Let's check the hold positions on heavyweights here. We got Sniper in the pretty requisite spot. He is taken down by Candyman. That's a lot of kills again. Who's left? Rafinha's there, looking to spam away with the bar. Braddock gets one. Rafinha posted up in the laundry. Oh, Swab finds him. Uh-oh. Again, Insom is to Rope Alley to Beach, and he's just getting so many kills at Beach Spawn. He's now up to 15, and he was at 1-6, and six, I believe, at one point, or 1-8. and eight. His uh, jump window? I don't know if... I don't think they know he's there. Uh-oh. Oh, we got one. one. Oh. Okay. They found him. Yep, Matt's ready for it. If he gives up this kill, though, that will be a cap. No one else there to back it up. Oh, now he's got a friend. Okay. So, Mirison is posted up in barrel. They seem to be aware of him. Nice shot by Rafinha on Candyman and dubs there. Swab trades it right away. Jules finds himself a car. Oh, and Nade lands in his lap. Oh, he's, he survived it, barely. Oh, and Mirison is taken down by Insom. A TK there. Suave does trade jewels. And Matt is staying posted on the trough. Probably a smart decision right here. You never know when a ninja might pop up in that window. 
Carpenter, another kill in double windows. I love sniping there. See if anyone else is going to peek him. Inevitably, they'll have to. Oh, and inside with a TK and Swab there as well. They're just flooding Plaza. And really, if you're heavyweight, it's not like you can do anything about it. You can't. If you send two guys bridge at the wrong time and, and those four, other four just die too quick, you just, you're not in a good spot. Carp looking for the spam here. Heavyweights trying to get some position at their pizza. Rafinha spamming away with the Garand. They hear one in lower church. Braddock does find him. <laughs> Braddock with another kill there on Swab. That's three down quick. Jules going to crack bridge. Five down. Yep. Jules is up on the bridge here. Plaza will be heavyweights. They manage to fight back here, showing that resiliency. Jules going to be able to push up. He might not want to push further than this, though, with 10 health. And Nade will kill him quickly. They know he pushed past Bridge. Tom with a double kill there in street. Man trades it on a Mirrison. Tom going to get in the meat here. Try to take that guy down. Candyman does find Jules. Anyone for heavyweights there? No. Man is back up to his safe space in Church Tower. And it's going to be another push through Z here from Clinic. And that's really where heavyweights are having issues right now. Mand is taken down by Swaven Tower, so no sniper there to hold anymore. Rafinha going to look to get these guys coming down main ramp. One kill there for Nay and Z. It seems like they do have somebody watching Z. I wasn't sure. And, yep, Tom does get Matt there as well. Ooh, Carpenter just missed a shot in the wall. Ah, okay. I was like, this. Tom with another kill on Plaza. Looking for more. Oh, he's taken down a little bit of an interp shot there by Rafinha. We go, Ninja. Where nope. is he? He shot. Oh, oh, he did. Okay, yeah. Oh, he drops a dead nade there at rope. Looking for the kill. He does get it as well. Candyman going to make his way up to jump. They know he's headed there. Looks like Clinic going to hop on the plaza camp. Oh, that guy doesn't know he's up there. They don't know he's up there. Candyman with a third. Matt does find one off plaza. Oh, and Nade gets Candyman. Big kill around the corner. I don't think anyone's here to hold plaza. Oh, Swave gets traded right away, though. So trade frags at least working out in heavyweight's favor. Let's see here. Save the uh, save the day there. Oh yeah, big time. Otherwise, he had Candy just sitting up in jump window, and no one can really go push to break that because you just got to deal with that guy, or he's gonna capture one. Rafinha with a nice kill in Tom and Z. Heavyweight still able to hold. Oh, what a nade! What a nade by Braddock. It didn't get a kill, but that was majestic. Braddock now on 38 health. Nades flying out of double windows right now. Gonna look to get this guy dubs. It's a car. Man gets up in a tower here. Braddock is taken down by Ensign on double windows. And Bridges heavyweights again. Let's see what they can do with that. Jules. Man with another kill as well. Lots down here on clinic side. We got two push and bridge for heavyweights. Jules is all the way up short. I don't think he realizes he's clear to go. And he does. He gets 90 on one. Does take down another. He's traded quickly. Nay is still alive in Barber. They're scoped up on him though. Oh, a nade with a pre-fire Tommy shot there on Insom. He was 90. Braddock with a nade kill on Mirasit as well. Tom's last one. Tom has to hold this down. They do have middle. Nay elects to not push for the first and goes to the right spawn exit instead. He runs into Candy there. This will be a big duel. Nay wins it. And Clinic going to have to watch out for a lot of nades coming for him. Nice shot by Man on top of Main there. They know Nay is here. Swab finds the ninja, though. Nade incoming. Takes Carpenter down to 66. Gonna be a lot of nades coming their way right now. Let's see. Heavyweights has one, two on respawn. And everybody else is pushed. Oh, Rafinha taking down. Nice shot by Ensign from short. Mirison does find map, but Braddock gets one. Oh, what a shot by Carpenter on the sniper and tower. Braddock with two SDGs kills to his name is in jump. He gets hit. He's not dead yet, though. Carpenter looking for the wall shot. He's at 16. Braddock is traded there by Candyman from behind, though. Three and a half minutes left here. About a 103-point lead. Make that a 102-point lead here for Clinic. And it looks like they're going to try to crack their way into Plaza here. Nay is going to get to Street, though. I don't know if he's maybe checking. Two kills there for Murison. And a third! Wow, he left a couple bullets in the chamber, and that's why you do it. Hat trick for Vic. Braddock's got a nade ready, though. Will this break it? It does! And Mand with two to his name as well. Braddock can't make it out the window. He finally does against the car. Oh, that was right on him. And Candyman ends up getting the kill. I thought that kill should have gone in Braddock's favor, but I guess not. Candy going to get into meat here. And we got two there holding the street for Clinic. Rafinha's got a nade prime for Ivy. 
And three about to push on the bridge here for heavyweights. See if they can get these kills. Jules finds one. He's having a hell of a half right now, it's Jules. Rafinha gonna look towards meat. Oh! Oh, I thought that was his kill. Never mind. Jules got two. Rafinha does get the guy cracked, though. That's four down on heavyweights. Candy's back up on uh, Hill and Thomas and Barber. Oh, Vic did... Or Vic, one of them was respawned. Vic is holding street. I lied. So this could be another big push here, but Vic does get one get in the street. I mean, if they can't get street, it doesn't matter. Matt with a kill from top of, of Long Ram. Carpenter scoping out the bridge for any potential snipers. Matt's traded by Insom, though. Carp still scoping it out. Nade just made the Ivy sound. Let's see, is there somebody here? There is. Oh, Nade gets one of them. He was getting shot from both sides with Mirrorson, and that's a mid-cap there for heavyweights. Rafinha gets another one off short. Thomas here as well, looking to get out. He finds Rafinha. Gets the car. He's traded right away by Jules on short. Jules pushing up short now. Oh, and Carpenter with a big no-scope there. Candyman finds the guy's street as well, and that's going to give Clinic a lot of breathing room. And did get Carp off the top of main, but Matt pushed it in. Oh, he does find Candyman there, too, so Heavyweights get street again. A minute and a half here. If they can cap out again, it's going to make things real interesting. And Sam chucking a nade down main. Swab finds Matt. They heard someone go up jump window. Was it a teammate? He faked it. Okay. He's, it's Braddock. He's under. Swab gets two there, and go oh, Carpenter. Okay. Braddock got TK'd. Oh, no, by Jules. That's five down on Heavyweights. Jules is the last one left. He's got to hold on to bridge. Mirrison got the first as well. One kill there for Jules on short. Looking for more. Oh, and there's a prone heavy. Tom going big with the plays to win right there. They got to find Murison at the first flag. Or did they? No, he's in lower church. He went all the way back to cap. That's three down quick on clinic now. Murison is here to break it. Four down quick on clinic. Vic gets one. It's Braddock. There's another one there. And he's going to fall back. Probably smart. Just give him the chance to at least get two on the cap before you do it. Oh, no, a TK nade there. They are going to go for the cap. Man is ready for it. Heavyweights will get uh, Plaza back. Vix, or Carpenter looking main. What a shot by Man as well. Heavyweights in full control of this map in the last few minutes. They may not be able to get a cap out, but they got to feel a lot better about things going into the second half. Jules is going full Blitzkrieg up to the first here. Oh, what a shot there on Tom. He gets it. They trade it right away. Is anyone there? No, no one is there. Five seconds left, and that'll do it. Less than 100 to speak for there for the lead of clinic. Man, ball yep. tough. That was a crazy, crazy Hey, Marcos half. had a chance to cap out there at one point. And Did he? he? Yeah, it was Tom was the only guy up, and he didn't press the issue. Oh, no, that's yeah, unfortunate. Back in uh, Barber, I believe. Yeah, he was just hanging out. He could have oh, tried yeah. to push out and get a cap out. Yep, you're right. I forgot that he pushed into the right spawn exit further instead of pushing out Barber. Yeah. That was just an yep. endless half right there of insanity. Let's see the scores. Suave top frag for Clinic and Jules for heavyweights. He had a crazy half. Big half for Jules. Yeah, Big right. Big half for Suave for sure, yeah. And I thought pretty much everyone played pretty well overall. Yeah. Yeah, nobody had like a weak half. Everybody was doing their jobs. Everybody was playing the routes properly. Heavyweights had a little bit of trouble with holding their last flag when it was first happening, but they seemed to get their tempo down once that uh, that little spree of caps happened. They started having somebody watching Z. That was really where things fell apart for them in those first few caps was nobody was watching Z after Bridge went down. So it was just a free pass for all the rifles to push. And I don't know what to think this half coming up because you're going to get all these great rifles for heavyweights they could and and people say this map is allied sided i think it's a toss-up at this point oh yeah i agree it's a toss-up like up. people people can dominate bridges axis and push through and just wipe out plaza right and and then the bar advantage is gone so it i will concede it might be easier initial like to get plaza and maybe have a defensive position set up, but I don't know. I could see Heavyweight still taking this. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, if, if Clinic can win by 96 on Axis side, Heavyweights can definitely do it, too. It's just a matter, I guess, of how they approach. First of all, the initials, because you don't. I mean, we saw, against Skull, our first initial, we lost five guys, and a triple nade was the only thing between us and a cap out. I don't remember who got that triple nade. Um, I think it was Jules. Yeah, it must have been Jules. No, it was <laughs> Um, Is this already live? It looks like it's already fucking live. I had to start recording the demo, so they're not waiting for no fucking buffering. 
Not sure how live it is, but I'm going to assume like a minute and a half. Oh, 30 seconds. Okay. I don't feel as bad about that. So, of course, allies get the plaza. Quick cap it in. Bridge is heavily in favor of the Axis, I'd say. Rafinha does get one. Jules gets another one. I'm not sure if he's going bridge or plaza yet. He is going bridge. Lots of clinic guys on bridge here, making sure that heavyweights can't get it. And this might actually end up a, uh, a heavyweights cap bridge. Man is alive at the end of bridge with a sniper rifle. Tom finds Braddock as well. And Clinic will not get bridged for now, at least. Oh, nice shot on Candyman in midair by Man. And a second. Man looks fucking swift today, boys. Oh, he almost ran into his teammate with a nade there, but still surviving right now. Nice shot by Rafini on the sniper and tower as well. I just caught that. These guys are going to be real drained after this match and have to go play Harrington, too. Rafinha doing that little quick switch to his uh, grenade, and it looks pretty cool on HLTV, I must say. He gets Candyman there as well. This may be a plaza cap here. He sees a sniper. He does get Carpenter there. Wow. He doesn't even need to wall it. Look at this. Heavyweights is going to get plaza. What about Bridge? Nay is pushing the spawn house now. And he finds another one. Heavyweights looking very strong here on their axis half. He's going to sit in spawn house. They have to be able to throw the nade from the spawn, and they do not. That's four down very quickly. One at least on respawn. Mirison is here in the trough. Another kill there for Braddock. Mirison gets one. Oh, what a shot there on Matt. That's four down. Oh, that's unfortunate for heavyweights. They lost too many guys on that push. Jules elects to stop in pizza. Man holding on to bridge. They can't afford to give up these double caps after having such a strong start. Let's see how it plays out here for Clinic. They got guys all over the place. Man finds Suave. Someone has to tell me how to pronounce that name. 96 point win first half, Nick, for uh, Clinic. Tom does get the sniper rifle, finds Matt. Lots of trades going on right now, coming out pretty much equal. Candyman with another kill there with the Garand, though. I'm just flipping through. I can't find shit. Nay does find Candyman in the back, pushing up Z. Insom trades it. Not sure Clinic can get a cap off that, though. They are going into safety mode on the one. Insom gets street. That's big. Will he be able to hold on to it is the question now. Coming out, meet. Carpenter trades that frag on the plaza. They might hop on it. Insom, they know he's here. Nice shot by Jules, man. And a double nade by Rafinha from double windows. He's been working on that for sure. He looks strong as a double windows car right now. Eight and three. Gonna try to take a push-up church tower here. We got a full respawn wave. Vic still holding on to the first flag. Let's see how heavyweights proceed with this. Oh, a nice 2k by Candyman. I think he walled Rafini there through the ladder window. And Insom finds Nate. That's three down quick. Heavyweights can't do this again. Jules pushes. He gets one. He's being spammed. He's down to 10. Pushes in when he hears the Garand pop. And there's Insom. He finds him. This should be a plaza cap for Clinic. I don't think there's any weather break in this. Nope. Now heavyweights has to work on holding bridge. Carpenter going to get up to Church Tower now. Man finds Insom off the bridge. And Heavyweight's going to have to apply pressure through Z the way that Clinic did last half. Oh, Rafini with a TK there on Matt. That's unfortunate. I don't know. I'm not a bridge rifle. Like, how, how important is it for you guys to get pushed through Z to really have an impact on the cap outs? It's pretty important, right? It's very important to put pressure on Z. Yep. Otherwise, Otherwise they, they can just try to take Plaza without exactly. any backstabbing. Over and over again. Like, you're just free to be all over the place over there. And Vic has pushed up all the way to there first now. He does find another one. Vic's on a streak. Oh, what a pre-fire by Braddock, though. But yeah, heavyweights, you know, axe aside, you have bridge control now, as as usual. Candyman. Ooh, Candyman's in meat. He's gonna be there to prevent a break, I think. Here's him cap the street. They know he's not dead. Finds the spam shot there in Braddock. This might be a bridge cap here for Clinic. Oh, big nade by Nate takes down Candy, and it looks like somebody got Suave off bridge as well, yeah. So Heavyweights was able to avoid disaster there. Okay. They gotta get Plaza back here, though. They're not gonna be able to hold out on tick points and make up 96. Nate finds one there again. Push up Z, and a headshot there on the sniper. Looking for more. Insom is waiting, though. That's a big kill for him. You don't want to let a Nutra get pushed up in your spawn house. And that's not a euphemism. Jules does find him, though. Oh, well, not Insom. Insom's still alive. They know it, though. Oh, he sees him. He didn't shoot. He finds him, though. The dead nade gets him. They're on respawn. Suave with a 2K there with a bar in Plaza. He is traded by Rafinha, though. And Clinic going to have to turtle up again here. They can't give up this cap. I mean, they can. They've got some breathing room. 
Insom chose to throw a grenade Z rather than break the plaza cap. Oh. See if that changes something here. Uh oh. That could be a real like difference maker in this situation. Yeah, I think he like panicked through it at the guy. It looked like it, yeah. He had two grenades, both of them went Z. None of them went to the oh. cap. <laughs> Double nade for Braddock there. Gets them right after the break. They should be able to hop back on it. They got Rafini here to cover. Oh, he was in the cap zone. Tom does find one though. He's in pizza. He spammed down a lot. They don't know he's not dead. They don't know he's not dead. Triple kill for Tom. They didn't realize he wasn't dead. That was ridiculous. Oh, Tom coming up big with the bar there. That was an unfortunate little mistake by heavyweights on the cap. They thought he was dead because of all the blood sprites, but he was not. And now they might get bridged. Nope, Nate's there. Big break for Nate. Tom's going to push up main ramp. He's feeling the frags right now. Jules with a double nade. Oh, and a TK by Vic. Oh, no. Tom was feeling it right there, and Vic was like, sorry, bro, I get the movie clips today. And here comes the Z push. Nate gonna go rope. Jules gonna go the other way. Carpenter finds one of them. Let's see if he saw the other guy to make the call. Now, man knows. He took a little bit of a pot shot. Nate is still alive. They're searching around for him. He's in pizza. He finds one. And a second there for Nate. He's looking for more. This might be enough for them to get Plaza. He gets the first. Who's there in Plaza? Carpenter dead? Carpenter might he be, got, nope. Murison's yeah. ninja, but out of position. Yeah. He's going to maybe have to just him. grab this. Yeah. He does. He's trying to pull a Kellen right now as Murison. This will be a full cap from behind. Oh, no. Carpenter with a big 2K break. They don't even need a Kellen in this situation. They got a Scorch up in Church Tower. Man does get him. And let's see if Murison can do it. Still another couple kills there for heavyweights. Murison. He gets a double kill there. He hears more. Street is clinics, and Nate finds him and takes him down. So no Kellen there for Vic, but that was quite a bit of impact there. Pushed up to the one. Really, he saved them from a cap out, so. Yeah, people started looking everywhere. Yep. Nate does find a second. He's going to be able to push Z again, and it looks like clinic are going to adjust to try to prevent these Z pushes now. He got a heavy and a rifle in Z watching it. Nate with the car. Ooh, almost ran right into a nade there. Carpenter finds Braddock. Oh, nice shot. Oh, it was a nade. Never mind. I thought that was a, a grand kill. Carpenter with another 2K here on Plaza. Looking great sniping. Jules with a 2K himself on bridge, though. Vic going to try to push up in the street. No one's there. Where is Jules? Jules just pushes Z again. He's got a nade for it. He spams right through. They're looking for it. Oh, no. They both missed. And he's got a crosshair, so he wins. And now he's got a sniper, but Swab says done. Just all over the place right now. Nay does trade him, though, and they got Street back to uh, heavyweight. Swab trades Nay. Everything coming out pretty even here. Oh, he shot right through him, and Rafinha wins. Wow. That was a little bit of a crazy exchange there. Rafinha looking for Tom and Pizza here. Jumps across. Carpenter is in Pizza as well. And Clinic just going to keep flooding Plaza and trying to watch the Z push. Man with another 2K there. Carpenter gets Braddock from bottom of main ramp, so both kill uh, teams trade 2Ks. Clinic's doing a lot better job getting into street. Oh, That's yeah. It's keeping it even. And that is, for sure, the best way to try to get map position back on this map, on this side yeah. in particular. I'd probably, if I was heavyweights, I'd tell Matt, just lock street down for now. Let everyone else get the points. Exactly. Else. Yep. I mean, they did, and they did that against Nogo. They had, like, a designated street guy. And Clinic is capping out. They did. They capped out. Yeah. I, I think that was Tom going through street. That really triggered that. He flanked yep. bridge. 100%. That meat locker, if you're not ready for it, is just nuclear. You got to turn around. It's a hard shot to hit. They've got a, a automatic. You're just, it's, it's tough to do. And that really puts Clinic in control here. That 96-point lead now becomes about 121, so really over three caps. Oh, thanks for the sub, Twist. Look at you. Welcome back, Rye Guy. Carpenter and Pizza here. Hits a shot through the unbroken window. Braddock is down. Name might be pushing up. Z is taken down, though. Let's see if Heavyweight's elect to get on bridge early. They might try to bait some nades out there. Comes a nade. Jewel survives, though. Carpenter with another kill in Plaza. And another kill in Plaza. A little bit of a Plaza ace there for Carp. Jules spamming away on bridge here. Oh, he hit both guys. Neither dies, though. Does get the guy off Z. And I believe that was the guy in uh, Law. Man got him. 
Do they have anyone here to break it? Suave is up there. He gets manned, but Nate trades him right away. And Carpenter's now in Meat Locker. They don't know it. They prone on it. Oh, wait. He still sees it. Oh, okay. It was an HLTV glitch. Jules trades it, but it doesn't matter. Carpenter got the break. That's the important thing. That was one time where bait and that street flag worked out in your favor. Jules gets two more kills before Suave trades them. I should check the scoreboard here. Carpenter at 24 and 10. Looking incredible right now. Man, 14 and 5 on the other end. Rafini is 17 and Jules 17 as well. And Tom at 12 and 9. Suave at 14. Wow, look at that by Vic. Ooh, taken down before he gets the 1. I think Clinic should have this cap. Yep. Oh, he got killed, but it did not break it in time. Jules with a nade for the end of bridge. Does not land. They know that there is a, another guy there. He sees him in the hut. He takes him down with the nade. Okay. And heavyweight's just going to have to make sure they don't get capped on here again. If they do, that's probably this map to clinic. Insom finds Jules, and here comes the street flood. Vic makes his way up. Here's one in the sundial and main ramp. Nade incoming. Does not get him. Carpenter gets Nay off the one. Sniper on bridge, as OP as it gets. Gonna watch it, because I love it. Oh, nice shot by Rafinha. Takes him down before it can do more. And that's three down on Clinic's side right now. Candyman and Suave left on bridge. They get one. Nade incoming from crack. Doesn't get one. Heavyweights grab Street back. See if they elect to stay in here and hold it now. Suave with another kill there on bottom of short. Headshot there on Jules. Nade taken down by a Candyman Nade as well. Nade's on point here for Clinic. Got Braddock on Sundial. Man just sniping across the bridge. And Matt holding Ivy here. Clinic definitely going to be trying to come through uh, Ivy. Oh, they're checking for ninjas right now. That's interesting. Their plaza team all went down. Ah. Everybody failed to push. Capitalize on that. I did so. not even notice that. Yep. Cl Clinic's looking around like they should be at our first now. Right. What's going on? It's like, in a, you know, the two extremes. They were overly aggressive and now they're under aggressive. Yeah, yeah. For everyone listening, learn learn who's going your route, and if those enemies go down, take the space. Boom. Simple as that. Even if even if you end up having to fall back once you've taken the space, just giving the indication that you might be pushed up can be just as valuable. Slows them down. Yep. Swap with a nice kill there on Jules at back of Tiki, and just getting Jules killed at this point is a big deal because he's getting a lot of picks on bridge. Braddock is able to grab Street back for heavyweights here. Insom with a 2k with a sniper rifle. I'm guessing he has it on bridge, so. And it looks like Clinic's going to take a push here. Oh, Jules with a nade takes down one on short. Street is now back in Clinic's favor. Nice shot there by Suave on a falling Jules. That's quite a few down on heavyweight side. Braddock gets one. I think he just took the guy down off bridge from top of May or, uh, short. Insom with another two kills on bridge there. Now we have dual snipers up on the bridge. Not sure which uh, which angle Carpenter is going to be able to snipe. They're just kind of sniping both sides of the hill, I guess. Rafinha is traded right away. A, a big nade on a bridge right now would really do a lot for heavyweights. Man still looking for the pick. He just hit him again on the end of bridge. Jules with a nade kill. And he's taken down by Carpenter there as man. A lot of guys dead on both teams, though. So it won't be too big a deal for heavyweights here. Nay looking for another pick here. Spam it away. Swab gets him, but he's got to be lit. 33. Yeah, 33. Wow. 33. Nade here incoming. Nade. Yep, softened him up. Insom spamming away. Crack comes another Nade. It won't get him. Heavyweight does grab Street back. They're going to need to do a lot of work here in the last five and a half. Insom with a Nade kill. Candyman gets the guy short. Rifle team looking great for Clinic on bridge here. Matt with another kill out of Street. Oh, and Matt with another kill. This might be a Plaza cap. Yep, Carpenter's not there for the break. And there we go. Heavyweights get some map control now, but... Ooh, Candyman's at short with the nade prime. That's going to get some. It didn't. Oh, no, and the sniper was there in the spawn house. He doesn't elect... It. Oh, he doesn't land the shot, I mean. Candyman gets the guy coming around from Barber. Here's another. Lots of kills here going the way of Clinic. One of them was even from a heavyweights guy. It was manned in the spawn, sniping the one. Braddock is up in church town. Oh, Braddock has to break this. Braddock has to break this. He finds one. Looking for the second. Carpenter does trade it. Candyman's still on the one. Getting kill after kill after kill. Oh, he is finally taken down, but Candyman had four there. And that is a plaza cap for Clinic. Rafini gets one right off the cap. Nade incoming. He's got to wait it out. 
he doesn't, he's going to die to it. Nope, he didn't die to it. 56 health. And we've got a little bit of a stalemate battle between Carpenter and Rafinha here. No one's going to blink first. Nagus down short with a car now. Ooh, just missed that shot on the fridge. I was going to say, I don't know if he realizes he's kind of exposed there. Your arm's sticking out. Carpenter does get a kill in the street. And Vic, and here's the street flood. One of them is taken down by uh, Rafinha. Oh, but he's taken down by Carpenter as well. That's five down. They are respawned, but I don't think they're going to respawn fast enough. Tom with another kill, and here it is. There it is. That'll do it. No coming back from this now. That goes Anzio to Clinic. One to nothing in the series. Still, still four minutes left here, but there's no way you're capping out five times in four minutes. Yeah, it's not impossible, but not going to happen. No. Carpenter playing out of his mind here. 33 and 15. Looking excellent on a sniper rifle. We'll see what he does off this initial two. There it is. Gets the pick on Rafinha. 34 and 15 now, and he's looking for more. No one there on main ramp yet. He hears some dubs. Braddock, oh no, Braddock suicide nated. Oh, and Matt came out in a no scope there by Carpenter for kill number 35. Everything going in favor of Clinic right now. They're even getting the bridge cap. Jules Nade is going to be late. They've got Street. Looking to put an exclamation point on this victory in map one, our Clinic. Three minutes left. And I tell you what, if I'm Clinic, I mean, uh, people may not like it, but you run off that score as much as you can heading into map two because you want them to feel like they can't beat you. Nay with another kill there in Barbershop. Going to grab the bar. Like, you got a best of three to play. You want to cap out as many times as you can here. Do not let off the gas. And that's a lot down on heavyweights. Jules left here. Gets one nade kill. Man finds the other. They're both on the hill. So if a nade comes, they're dead. Going to get up to main ramp. One watching each side. Ooh, just missed by Jules there. Bottom of main. There is a guy there. It's Carpenter. Looking for the shot. Or no, it was Tom looking for the shot. That looked like a no-scope. I don't know if it was. Someone tell me if that was a no-scope, because it looked like it from, like, the third-person animation. Insom sniping it up on bridge again. He looked for the no-scope there. Vic ends up getting the kill, though. Matt does grab Street, so they might be able to hold off on the cap. Heavyweight's got to take moral victories from anything they can for the last two minutes of this uh, match here. Insom just shot right through a guy. No, oh, that's not a moral victory. Oh, Matt just missed that shot on the pizza. Still looking for it, though. Going to take the peek out slowly. Oh, just missed again. Whoever that is, as the shoulder peeks on. I think it might be Tom. He is a sniper. We know how to shoulder peek. And I think he relocated up into the cap zone area. Where are they? It is Tom, and he was up in the cap zone. I was right. And he takes down Rafinha. There is another one here, though. It's a sniper rifle. He's a looking for him. Not sure where he went. Where is he? Oh, he's all the way up in tower now, waiting with a shovel. And Braddock finds Muris in there. See, that's what they maybe, if I'm heavyweights, you got to be yeah. thinking like, yep, I, that's what we should have been doing the whole time. Too little, too late. Yep. It's unfortunate because they are notorious for having done that in their Anzio match this season, and they elect not to bring it out this time. And in the end, it ends up being a huge difference maker in favor of Clinic. On Allied side especially, like, Clinic had free reign of street. Every time Heavyweights got a couple kills, they just pushed straight out, and, you know, they gave up the kills on Plaza Cap. I think Carpenter did a good job, too, of... They got Bridge, he rotated over there, and it kept Heavyweights at the spawn. I, right. I think when Heavyweights was on Allies, they were not getting manned over to Bridge. I don't know if he's more comfortable in tower, but it's just not as effective You're right. in the long he, term. He is more comfortable tower too, it seems like. And that's, I mean, honestly, as a, an allied side sniper on Anzio, the best place you can be is on that bridge, sniping the hill. And uh, Carpenter would really, really perfectly timed when he switched over to there. And he played great when he did, you know? It wasn't like he went over to bridge and didn't do anything, or like he didn't get any, you know, he's 38 and 18, he had a great half, but Ace is so right about that. The the rotations from Carpenter from Plaza to bridge were excellent. And that'll do it. Five seconds left here, a very big win for Clinic on map one. Ends up being about, what's that, 160, about 250. Really good. Now we're heading to Harrington. Yeah, and you know, I like how they bounced back after getting capped out on to start the match. Right, that's and tough. Just, it didn't even affect them. Yeah. They just steamrolled from there, so. 
They looked real. I mean, when you get capped on that early, you can let it get to your head very quickly, and they did not at all. Clinic just put the pedal to the metal, and they returned fire with three caps of their own, or maybe even four, actually. All right, so now we got some Harrington. It's been a while since I've had to cast a Harrington match, but I can tell... Actually, I just casted one the other day. What the fuck am I talking about? No-go versus sleepers. Don't listen to me. Gotta make sure I remember to, to record a demo as well, because I just said I was not going to forget to do that. We'll see if they, they wait long enough for this to buffer this time. I'm guessing that they won't. Anyone got an MVP for that map? I liked Carpenter. Like Ace said, yeah. he played, played his ass off on Allies. Right? He looked great. I think the clinic heavy is just going through street. The, the rifle who switched over to Plaza... It was just like a, a leaky sieve there that heavyweights couldn't close. It really was. They were just all over it. And and once you're giving up that much ground, like there's really nothing your other side of the map can do. You know, you're getting shot from all over the place. That Plaza team is who ended up at the Axis first multiple times, preventing cap outs. The um by getting those heavies in street, you're you're sort of closing the fighting distance from the rifles. You know, right. Like that, the Axis K98 across bridge from double windows, those are strong, but when you're getting flanked through street, it's it's going to be frustrating. Yeah, there's nothing you can do. That's like the one thing that I don't want to have happen when I'm carrying double windows. Is a guy getting up in close to sundial or like right in front of me on main ramp. That's where you're more likely to miss a shot, and then they're just spraying you down. It's very frustrating. I, or as a sniper, double, like, whatever. If you got a rifle double windows, you don't want to have to deal with heavies who are right up in your face. You want to be able to take the long-range engagements. I'm not sure if there's maybe a lineup change here for a clinic. I yeah. think they are doing a line change here. It might we be Hey High. I believe, yeah, we'll be seeing Hey High come in. For, looks like, Candyman? I see. Unless Candy's just coming back in. Not sure. So I'm not positive about how either of these teams like play on this map. I don't think I actually casted any games for either of them on Harrington this season. I definitely didn't cast their one point victory because I think we were playing when they did. Or I just wasn't here. I don't know. But regardless, it was a one point win for Clinic. So both teams, I'm sure, went to school on that match. And we'll see what they came up with for the second one. Nope, Candyman's back. They're not switching. Oh, okay. So now we got 12 in the Soiva. I mean, of course, Harrington, everything comes down to middle. It's a goddamn clusterfuck. Everyone will be running there at all times. Nades will be flying from everyone's orifices, and it's going to be insane. It's the general rule, right? Yeah, this seems like a great map for Clinic, in my opinion, just their playstyle. Their rifles are aggressive. Their heavies are pretty aggressive. Uh, we, they played pretty fast too when we scrimmed them today. Oh, for sure. I think their best team was their long team, probably. Yeah, I'd say they so. Ro they rotate pretty well. And they, uh, they kind of caught us off guard a few times. Who was it they had going along? Was it Candy and uh, Slav? Yeah, Slav would rotate some. He would go mid a lot as well. That's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Insom wasn't there for that one. Yeah, that no Insom in that one. They definitely are going to flood mid, I can tell you that for sure. They will have, I mean, as many as four guys in mid at any given point. They might send four off the initial on allies, to be honest. Depending on the spawns, it seems to me, just based on, like, the timing and the pacing of when they had a lot of guys in mid, that they're doing it based on spawns, which is smart. That's how you really should play this map. Like, if you can take advantage of a, a front spawn to one of the routes, you should use it. Like, even if that means that as a sniper, you're picking mountain, because if you try to go from a mountainside spawn to double doors, you're going to be nated to oblivion. And even if you survive that, the sniper will be so trained on your position already. There's no point. And we are live. Let's see. Looking at the spawns here. Let's see if they do it. Carpenter had a little bit of an in-between spawn. He will go double doors. See how it goes here. Does get the opening pick on Jules. Nade will get him. No, he's down to 22. I thought for sure that was going to get him. Not. It's all you need. 
See if they have any fancy, spancy nades here. Rafinha going mountain. Oh, he gets two right off the bat. And a third kill there for heavyweights. Braddock with a nade. Man finds his way out from tree. The sniper is definitely still alive. Where is he? Is the question. Oh, there's one at the bottom of the stairs. He finds him. And the sniper is still up. No, he's dead. I lied. Rafinha found him from ladder. He is taken down right away there. Oh, one's double doors. Man, oh, he just barely couldn't survive around that pole. And a lot of trade frags in mid here. Come about, 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 out about even. Suave looking to come with this long guy. Nay is prone next to the box and he takes one down. I love it. Bring back 2005. Carpenter looking to get the pistol kill. Candyman does find him, and Tom gets mapped. They got Jules up in Midhouse here, though, holding the map control for heavyweights. Braddock finds Vic on Mountain. Oh, a TK nade by Braddock, or on Braddock by Rafinha, though. That's unfortunate. Those nades can be tough at Mountain, to be honest. Man, just missed Carpenter double door. Nice pre-fire on him there to get him, though. Andy sees him up for Khan. It might have hit his foot. They got him. They're going to hop on mid. See if they got a break ready. Vic's got one coming from Mountainside. It'll be late, though. And there it is, mid-cap for heavyweights, first of the game. Vic does get jewels, though, right off, and they might be able to hop back on it. Lots in mid here. Here comes the mid-flood I was talking about. Nade incoming! It does get one, and he got a car kill, and they give up the second. They get it back right away, though. That, that's important for Clinic there. Tom going to prime a nade for trips here. Vic is taken down on a mid by jewels, and heavyweights look good on this axis side. Matt gets taken down by that Tom nade. If I'm heavyweights right now, I'm like, man, get in mid-house. That's what I'm saying. Get in mid-house. Maybe he's more comfortable just sniping from top of mid, but eventually you're going to be peeking new house at the wrong time. Oh, he does get the kill there on Insom. And there it is. See, that's the unfortunate thing. Like, you have a good angle on one of the two spots, but then you have to peek a, a sniper that's already scoped in on you. And that's a lot down here on heavyweight side. Jules does find one in mid. He's still alive. And a second there for Jules. Looking for the third. Oh, he shot a little too early. He pulls out the pistol. I was going to say, yeah, just reload. He's chasing him. And he falls back again. What a battle right now. Who is this? Oh, my God. It's so... Oh, he does get the pistol killed as Jules. That was crazy, that whole thing. Jules still alive here. Looking for more. Here's one DD. Swab does get him there, though. And that's a lot down on heavyweights. Man still alive gets one. He's not in mid, though. He's taken down. And Clinic might get a full cap off the back of this here. Nades incoming on mid. Doesn't find anyone. Insom priming a nade for top of mid steps. That doesn't get anyone. I thought for sure it would. but And here comes another nade in. It doesn't kill anyone. Man finds one. They're going to push up on it. Insom gets another one. And a nade doesn't blow him up. But Man does peek and gets him. Break. And Nay Marcos with two kills on long. Vic is alive here on the mountain steps. He can't really push any further than this because then he might be giving up the first. Another kill for Nay Marcos. He's up at Upper Con now. He is prone in Upper Con. He is fully committed. Are they ready for this prone? Spamming away. They're not hitting him. And he does get swabbed there too. Heavyweight's playing to win right now. Nades and coming from trips. Insom gets him. And this is all up to Clinic now to hold down this first flag. Obviously, still allied side Harrington, even if you give up a cap. you got plenty of time. 16 minutes left here, but you don't want to feel like you're playing from behind. Insom's taking, or takes Jules down there. Gonna go get into mid. Nay with another kill there on long. Insom gets himself a car. Rafinha gets another kill. Oh, and Nay peeks Insom lower con and gets in with the Unter playing really well so far as Nay. Vic's gotta hold this first. He's got one partner with him. Double spray down for Mirison. And Tom, the heavy's coming up huge here for Clinic. Oh no, and Nay Marcos is taken down by a TK nade. Where was that? Lower con? Jules does get another kill there. Man gets one out of DDs. There's another and another in upper con. That's mid-team down on heavyweights. Clinic gonna look for the mid-cap now. Rafinha doesn't have a nade prime. And there's a guy out of sewers. They don't realize him. That's mid for Clinic. Rafinha gets shot at. Nade won't land. Vic takes down another one there. That's four on the streak for Murison. Three down on heavyweights. Two traded back, though, for heavyweights. They gotta hold the second. Who's there? Nay. And Jules is at top of mid. He gets one there. Nay's gonna fall back in the pit. And this is a tough flag to hold. Rafinha's traded by Swave. Swab. 
Suave EV. Carpenter in Midhouse gets Jules. And Heavyweight's just going to go to the second here. I mean, honestly, if you can come out of your Axis half down by less than two caps, you're looking good for Allied side. But we'll see. Still 15 minutes left. It's a little early to be predicting cap numbers. Let's see here. What do we got going on? Vic holding on to the first here. Braddock does get him. Is Tom there too? He is sitting in Mountain Pit. Gets one. I don't think there's another one there either, so he might be able to get it right back. Is Rafinha? Nope. He went long. Nay does get Suave off long. Carpenter's still holding on to Midhouse here. Tom finds Matt. Everything going clinic's way here ever since they got the mid cap. Heavyweights just got taken down too much all at once. Tom making his way up L. Really wants to grab that first flag. Nay is finally taken down long, and Insom gets a sniper there. Tom with another kill. Braddock trades it, but there is another heavy here. Braddock's got to hold this flag, because it looks like the second is Clinics. Rafinha is alive here. He is taken down by Suave. Braddock gets... Oh, wait, no, Braddock. So, no, no, no. Don't listen to me. There it is. Vic gets Braddock. Here it comes. This is the moment. Can they get the full cap? Vic making his way up steps slowly. Naden coming to clear out the flag. And Matt with a big kill, but there's another one here. He's got to get him, too. Respawn and coming. Jules with two kills there. That's huge at long. Tom does find one in mountain and a second. He is taken down, though, and Jules has the second flag here. Let's see if he can do some damage. He hears him a-coming. Most rifles will be ready for that. Nobody gets the kill. Here's one lower con as well. And he hears another one upper. He does realize it. Oh, nice shot by Candy on the elbow peak. That's big. And there it is. Second flag back to clinic. Carpenter is in mid-house still. Tom is fragging over at Mountain. The game is now about to be tied. Carpenter finds Nay there. Almost shot his teammate. I might have. Nobody called it. I might have shot you there, Tony. Don't lie. You might have. <laughs> Man, just sniping it up with the two here. Heavyweight's trying to hold it down. Insom looking to get up white steps here. Nade and coming. He evades it. Thought he heard one balcony. He didn't. Jules finds him there on the elbow peak. Three down on clinic side here, though. This could be the moment for heavyweights. Carpenter's still in mid-house. He hears a car shot at him. Carpenter looking for that kill. Candyman finds the sniper. Oh, and he walled him there. He does get traded by Jules, but what a shot. Nade finds Candy as well, pushing up on the ledge. Braddock. Oh, that Nade was just right in his face. Wow. Braddock grabs the bridge, though. And this is a little bit of a weird situation for heavyweights. They might not be sure how to handle this. I know I wouldn't be at this point. Like, we got to hold our second and their first. It's all up to Braddock here at the bridge. Man is holding the two. Nice shot there on Suave. Braddock is taken down. Candyman going to be trying to push the second here. He knows there's a sniper there. He's a thunderfoot and going for the prone dive. And there it is. Full cap. Sniper was unscoped. Not ready for it. Clinic managed to wrangle things back around. Oh, I needed water after that long without a break. Damn. And let's see how heavyweights can pull off on this initial here. Man does get the opening pick on Carpenter. Definitely a guy new house. Not prepared for it. Looking DDs right now. He hears the Garand shots coming for him. Swab does get Rafini off ladder, though. And Man is kind of caught between a rock and a hard place here. He hears one close right, and he knows there's one upper con. Nade coming is probably... No, it doesn't kill him. Carpenter's back DD zone. Gets him. It was in some close mid-steps here. We'll see if that call came out. Gonna head up ladder, it looks like. Nope, there's a guy coming ladder. Heavyweights what, really want to get this break here. Three down on clinic side, though. It's working out for heavyweights so far. Suave in mid-house, in some under ladder. Nice shot by Matt there with a bar snipe. In some still alive under ladder. Carpenter with a 2K before he's naded. And now in some last alive in mid. Heavyweight's gonna get a little anxious here. Oh no, Rafinha found in some. This will be a mid cap. Heavyweights getting a lot of momentum going here. Braddock has pushed all the way out. DDs. He grabs one. Pushes up towards the first spawn. He can jump out the window if he wants to. He finds another. He falls back off the third. There it is. First flag cap for Rafinha. They know there's one DDs. There is one new house there. Man looking for that frag. Mad at ladder. Braddock still at the first, and Candyman up in the halls here. Carpenter does find the sniper, though. Big kill there with the car. He gets up into mid-house now. 
sees one ladder. Oh no, Matt didn't realize he got out. And a hat trick for Carpenter in mid. Cracks it right open for Clinic. That's very well could be a mid. Oh no, Braddock's behind him. There he was. He was right next to mid steps. Big kill for Braddock. And now Carpenter with another kill. That's four. Looking for five. Oh, Jules gets him there. And Insom finds Nay along. Momentum averted there for Clinic. And this could be a chance to take map control back. There it is. Tom grabs the first. Insom taking the push up long. Mid cap attempt going off for Clinic here. Man finds Swab though. Insom baiting the flag. He hears Jules top mid. Oh, this is going to be a big, big moment. Heavyweight's not going to see this coming. Not a chance. Tom and Carpenter each get a kill. Nice shot there for Rafini on Carp. And there it is. Insom springs loose. He is traded right away, though. That's big by Jules. I thought for sure he'd get a multi-kill there. Nice shot by Rafini on DDs as well. Candy is still alive at long, though. Yep. He's also baiting the flag. So that means Insom pushed to get that kill. There it is. Nay Marco. Taken down by Candy. Here, let's see if he can flank this DD or uh, top mid. Jules gets in some. Let's see. Candyman looking for anyone he can find. Jules is ready for it, though. Carpenter back out DDs. Nice shot. He found Jules going up upper con. I saw the whole thing from third person, and Vic's going to push the one now. Mid cap coming. No one there to break it. Nay looking for the nade from long. There it is. John Gale would be proud, right? He threw it the right way. He did, he did. And there it is. Big mid cap for Clinic taking some pressure off themselves after things got a little bit circusy for a second there for him. Jules nades mid house. Will not get the kill. They, they think there's a guy here, is there? There's not. So heavyweight's gonna just have to sort of reconfigure themselves in mid. Jules finds a guy DDs. Dead nade will kill Rafinha. Uh oh. They are back to spawn. They hop on this right now. It's a big problem. There it is. Braddock at DDs gets two. He's taken down by a nade. Maybe they should have got on mid because that nade ended up getting thrown at the guy on the double doors spawn. Nice shot by Insom on Jules there as well. Second flag is heavyweight. The allied second. And their second is actually on clinic. They get it back though. I love sniping from this spot when I have to push up here. Oh no. He takes the bait. Insom is taken down by a TK nade. And looks like Tom's going to push up L. He's got Vic with him as well. Let's see how Tom plays this out. He gets one there in the mountain house. Grabs the flag. Traded right away. And Carpenter gets up to mid house. That should slow things up here for Clinic. Matt with two kills there though. Mountain team down. Now you have to worry about the ladder pressure. Candy grabs second. Nice shot there for Carp. And Insom finds an eight kill as well. It's a lot down. Braddock is here at the first. Respawn incoming. Here comes a guy. Oh, that's a teammate. Insom finds Rafini. Here we go. Oh, wow. He was on the flag. Braddock, a heads-up play. Tom is back, though. Gets two with the bar. Tom looking for more. Let's see. Braddock going to flank him here. He went down into the sewers. And he finds two there. Tom with the triple kill. Vic gets one more. We got Rafini here on the first flag. He's got to get a couple kills. Here's one Al. Nice shot there on Tom. And Vic is taken down by Matt. More clinic guys up ladder. They're going to keep applying pressure on the mountain house. If heavyweights can at least keep the damage to just like one more cap, then they can feel really, really good heading into allied side, though, I think. At least I would. Got by Mand. Where was he at, Long? Middle. Oh, middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, and another nice shot on Insom there. Man with three kills. Cracking open mid. Swab grabs the axe a second. They might have to panic cap mid here. They're gonna. I think they... Sh Anything coming? They Anything coming? They, they got it. it. That nade takes down the nader. That's huge. And there we go. That's a big, big swing for heavyweights here. Carpenter does get Rafini out of mid. But he's traded by Jules right away. That's the second flag. Matt's pushing up on the one here. Finds one. Oh, Merson with a big kill next to the bridge. There's more coming, though. They can't afford to die in bunches again, though. They cannot get complacent with this push, or they're just going to give mid up again. There it is. Another kill for Vic. Heavyweight's got to slow it down right now. Keep the mid control. Keep every piece of control you can have on mid right now. Man gets one. Carpenter trades him, and now Sniper's in mid house. Matt finds another kill. Although, if the Sniper's stuck in mid house while they cap out, that's, you know, doesn't matter. Oh, Nate's flanking. Behind him. He's yep, flanking. Yep. He finds oh, him. He got him. 
Nate's got the flag, and there it is. Wow, what a big cap for heavyweights. What a cap for heavyweights. Huge. Nate Marcos playing out of his mind here online. I mean, he's at 21 and 22, but it seems like he's getting nothing but multi-kills. Jules leading the way at 32. Carp gets the opening pick. Carpenter leading the way here for Clinic at 27. Tom right behind him at 26, and Vic 24. What a play by Nate to get that cap out, though. It really didn't look like they could break through the defense of the Mountain House side, and here we go. They're getting on it again. The, the break's coming late. There's no break. Vic's going to get ladder. Oh, they're going to recap it right back. Yep. That's definitely a recap. No one there to break this. Unless Rafinha's got a nade left. He stays on the one, but, oh, yep. Yeah, it's going to be a late nade. He might be able to take him down as soon as they cap. I think that might have been a little bit high. Yep. He did get one. Oh, four down quickly. And Carpenter just traded right away. This might be another mid cap. Yep. Team down. That is team down. Spawn is back That's now. Spawn. Yep. Oh, it's going to be close. This break is going to be real close. Oh. He double nades it. They're going to hop right back on it. Is anyone there to break that? Nay is there. He gets one. That's enough. All he needed to do. Yep. And now we got a mid steps push. Tom finds one at Mountain. Let's see if they're ready for this mid push. There it is. Gonna have to fall back. Tom with another mall and insom two grand shots take him down both. That was so random. Four down on heavyweights now. There it is, another mid cap. Unless man can Jesus break this, he gets one right after the cap. Nate'll kill him though. And someone's up here at the first. I think it's Tom. It is. He's got the first. Nope. There's one more there. Oh wow, that was so close. Three minutes left in this half. Brooks is gonna get the cap. There it is. Wow, that's unfortunate for heavyweights. They had a great initial, and they just died too much in a bunch. Had a guy die on the flag yep. to cap out, and then it got turned around. So unfortunate. Heavyweights had some denial there. If they lose mid that fast with that many guys, just spawn to the one. Yep, honestly. Yeah. You're not going to be able to break it when you're that far away on the respawn. Nice shot by Braddock, but you're 100% right, Ace. Oh, wait. Carpenter just hit a guy with a sniper rifle. Doesn't kill him, but they will get mid off the back of it. Matt's still there to break it. Yep. There it is. And Vic finds both of them, but really the damage is done with the double break off ladder. And Rafinha's ready to find Mirison if he pushes the one here. Still a lot down heavyweight side. Here comes a nade. Nice shot there by Rafinha. What the fuck? He knows there's another one here. Whoever it is is right in between the door and the staircase right now. And Rafinha going to look to take a new angle on him. There it is. Nice shot. Now he's going to look to get in the mid. Sees the sniper DD. He's got a little panic there. Nice. Oh, Jules. For Jules. Wow. Swift hat trick for Jules and a mid cap. Unless someone can nade it from Mountain. There it is by Tom. Doesn't land. Unfortunate. Candyman does get Rafinha from behind. Oh, Jules with a 180. Jules is on fire right now. Three kills and another 180 there. Three down on Clinic. And Jules is posted in Midhouse. A minute and a half left here. If Heavyweights caps out again, they're pro I feel like they're going to take this map. Oh, and Braddock with a triple kill. That's the first. Can they get it back before the second is taken? I think they will. Braddock with four. Five. Vic finally gets him. And the oh, all right when this flag's oh. taken. Oh, my God. Heavyweights just having some bad luck here on the timing. Matt trying to push. They're all back now. Things are going awry here. How the fuck did he survive for that long? Wow. Some crazy DOD happening here. Unbelievable. And Tom with a double kill. And now Heavyweights just died in a bunch again. If I'm Clinic, I am just like, you just flood through the ladder at this point. Do not try to go back around and get that two yet. Triple nade or kill there for Braddock. Double nade and a STG kill. Suave is hit. Braddock taken down by Candyman. Suave and Candy are pushed to the one here. They're checking the backs. There is one there. Is that a teammate? Nice shot by Swave on the mid. Looking for a second now. It's the sniper. And he re-peeks and no-scopes him. They find Nade double doors working around for the flank. And now they're going to have to go to the one. 20 seconds left here. Man with a 3K there. Looking for more. Oh, no. A TK nades. There's one alive. It's Candy Man. He gets two. There's one more. Yeah, it's Rafini. He's going to get the first. What a oh cap out. Five seconds left. Heavyweights take the lead back on their Axis half. What a half from Jules. For real. 40 for Jules. What a fucking half. Good lord. 
I don't even have words. And Jules would be proud. Yep. Yeah, he would Jules be. said great. They, everyone's just sending three mountain, and, and it didn't seem like they were controlling it with three. So to send, let Jules roam middle and long, uh, it's yep. a big half for him. It really a lot of responsibility. Was. Right, that's not an easy job to do. That's Toxinator responsibilities right there. And Jules dropped 40 doing it. What a half by him. Really, like, m so many multi-kills in mid, too, when Clinic was applying pressure. And, like, oh, man, just crazy. And Jules clearing them out like that long, let Namarcos be Namarcos, which is just, like, flanking constantly. Right, Kelly, dude? Duel. Insane. Had some huge breaks. And even got one of those cap outs by getting all the way and wrapping the first. Right? I have no words, man. Like, <laughs> oh, we might be going to map three. Like, right? <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I'm not calling Empire. it. But I had to check and see. I did not see that coming. No, I not. I mean, now, but now you know. Now clinic have cars. Yeah. So. Yep. And they are good cars. Suave especially really loves his car. Not to say Insime isn't a good car. I just mean, I know Suave, like, especially loves his car over the Grand. So, like, this is going to be the half where he's going to be dropping the bombs he can. I wonder if their first match was this crazy. With a, It was a one-point win for Clinic in that match. And I'm after seeing this, I'm thinking it was this fucking crazy. I don't think they had this many cap outs, but it was definitely a one-point victory for Yeah, Clinic. it was 239-238, if I recall correctly, so definitely not this many caps, unless the second half ends up being, like, nobody caps out or something. Crazy cry. I can't, that last Candyman came so close to such an epic fucking hold. And the way that they, like, after all the bad luck for heavyweights leading up to that point, they got some good luck with a TK suicide nade. I don't know who got it. Let's see. Oh, it's Tom. Tom. Yeah. Tom got himself a carpenter there. And yeah, just fumbled one. Yeah, it happens. it happens. It really does. All right. Going to start the day. Clinic played a really good half without any TKs right up until the end. Yeah. They had three in a matter of seconds. Right. And... Oh. That was just like, uh, of all the times, I wish they, wish they had gotten out of the way earlier, I'm sure, at that point. Like, shit, I wish I had TK'd him 10 minutes ago. Just insane, that ha that whole half. Like, everybody had to have big plays on both sides, and they did it every time they had to. Hey, Braddock had a couple triple kills that yep. pinned the allies back at the first. That one at the <laughs> end there, I think it was like five or six he ends up getting total. It was nuts. Um, uh, clinic was going through middle, up ladder, like you were saying. Mant came up white steps, cleared out ladder, cleared out mountain steps, and then pushed triple. Yep. And they got it like, uh, I think it was like three or four there. Yeah, just sort of paved the way for uh, Rafina to cap. Big time. And now Heavyweight's got to be on top of the world, heading into Allied side of Harrington. 19-point lead. Hopefully they don't go the way of Thunder here. And now there it is, an opening pick for Swab. Went way out wide and a second. Oh, he almost got the third right away, too. He still might. Shoots a little early. Man finds Carpenter there. Now Man in a favorable position. Upper con. 27 health on Suave here. Nades double doors. Going to be just in time. Wow, somebody called that timing out for sure. Somebody definitely called the spawn timer out. There's no way you think to nade there unless somebody says they're spawn now. Man with another kill. He is taken down by Carpenter. Man finds Tom lurking up on the one. Candyman's going to flank. He let them cap the two. Matt gets a double kill there. And there it is. He's going to... Nope, he's going to leave it. Interesting decision there. Someone definitely told him to do that. Lots of kills going both ways. That nade might be well-timed. Nope. The dead nade might be well-timed. Candy's in the lower count, and they have no idea he's here. Carpenter gets two. Insom with another, and this should be a mid-cap. Wow, what a perfect position for Candy here. Trigger discipline. They saw him! Oh, Matt saw him when he turned around coming up uh, off the mountain spawn there. Now Insom and Carpenter are stuck in Midhouse together. Better hope they don't need Midhouse. Vic working out of tunnels here. See if he can find a couple picks here. I'm sure someone will be checking this any time. Man finds Carp in Midhouse. Swab does trade him. Three in mid here for Clinic. Insom's taken down. And Rafini with a double kill. Oh, the dead nade got him, though. Vic is let loose. He does get one. Matt finds one. Who will go the second kill here? 
This is a big standoff. And it's Matt. What a peek. And Neymar goes with a double kill. Carpenter does trade him, though. Jules is up at top of white. They hear one coming. Bell. Jules gets one. Carpenter with a big kill there. Man not scoped in on him. Let's see. Will they get the break off? They won't. They're going to wait for the guy, the guy to jump off the cap. There it is. Carpenter with the kill as soon as he unprone. Rafinha trades him right away, though. That's a big, big kill. Heavyweight sent in three middle constantly. Yeah, I think Clinic is uh, adjusting for that, too, because they had Insom and Suave posted up in mid for a minute there. It's Len Marco is just ninja around. And yeah. Just get annoy people. And that's what you saw why Candyman let him cap the flag, I think, with him kind of returning the favor. There's two kills for Clinic. And Insom gets a second out of mid. Here we go. And there it is. Nate taken down by Candy along. Oh, man, finds Carpenter on the cap. Matt with a 2K before he's traded by Vic. And Rafinha going to pre-nade mid here. They hear a car in upper con. Candyman grabs the second. At this point, if you're heavyweights, you got to really focus on getting into mid and preventing any caps. Honestly, if I'm Rafinha, I hide in mid house right now. Point got the Garand. It's a tough shot to hit. You can 90 them. They can take the peak on the wide peak. You're, I'm just hiding in mid house. Finals match. I'm not even going to care. Insom with another kill there. There it is on Ins uh, Rafinha. Here's Braddock working on mountain steps, though. Nice shot there on Tom. Vic is still alive, though. He hears him. Insom with another kill there on ladder. And now Braddock has to fall back to help mid. He knows Mirasid is here somewhere. He's looking for this guy. He sees him mid-house. Or is that a teammate? Oh, Insom's dead. I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. That's three down quickly there Man. for Clinic. Man is t Mand is hitting some nice shots. Yeah, he's a really good sniper. Nay Marcos wanted to snipe, but he sacrificed it for Mand. He said, I think he's a better sniper than I am, and he's proven to be a team leader with that move. 10-5 and five for Mand here to start off. And Nay doing the dirty work, going long by himself with a light instead. I don't know if I'm making that decision, you know. I'm like, fuck you guys, I'm sniping. Double nade kill there for Jules on top of mid. Huge. One is ladder, and Mand trades it right away. Very sharp. But now he's got to hold on to mid here. He's got a friend. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. I was going to say, you don't want to keep peeking ladder like that if you're that Karan. Ladder glitch or not, don't give him a free kill when you're holding on to mid. Insom gets one. Mirison as well. Man, trying to watch out for a flank. They need to get some pressure relieved here in mid. Candy man and upper count. Oh no, it's all on a man now. Man's got a ninja break it. He does get one. He hears another one. Goes for the no-scope. Pulls out the pistol. Doesn't land. He hits him a lot. This might stall long enough. There it is. Rafinha with the nade kill. Big play by man in Midhouse. Looking for the flanker now. They don't have ladder though. Vic with two kills there. And they're everywhere right now. Our clinic. Nice shot. Oh. Baiting out the shots. Now, man, man looks great. Oh, what an angle. Doesn't land. There it is. What a shot on a carpenter. And Rafinha comes against Insom. Man playing out of his mind. And he gets another. He's insane! And Candyman fragging on long right now with another 2k. They can't kill him. Rafinha's got to help from upper con. Honestly, at this point, Rafinha should just look mid. Just be on the listen for him to push up behind you. There it is. Carpenter gets manned, and now he's got to be ready for the mid break. And there it is. Three coming mid now. No one there with the Oh, this nade might be a little bit early. It doesn't. It does break. Uh, oh, oh, no, it oh. doesn't. Oh, that was no. one of those uh, glitch caps. Yep. Braddock grabs Mountain House, gets one there. Looking for more. Vic trades it right away. Heavyweight's got to get back into mid. Carpenter's on top of steps. He misses that shot. He's got a pretty good angle on it. There it is. Takes down man. There is a guy in mid house there, Rafinha. Gets him. And now Clinic putting the pedal to the metal, pushing for a cap here. Heavyweight's got to get ready to post up. Everything hangs in the balance here. Tom gets one. Suave another. That's three down. Nice kill by Braddock. Evens it up a little bit. Good good decision to fall back, too. I'm like, I like that he didn't get overly aggressive off that kill. And there it is. They get the second flag. And now we have the god sniper manned up in the window. Good luck getting by him. Guy's nuts. I can't believe the shots he was just hitting in mid-house. I learned a new angle from him just now. Jules with a kill on Insom there. Get some pressure off the two. Suave going to go long now. Carpenter is in mid-house. I think Candy's in apps. Yep. 
Nice shot there by Jules to take him down. He must have 90 them to be peeking like that. Or he's just got balls the size of grapefruits. No, he's 90 Okay. Suave. And the car is again getting kills here for a uh, clinic. There it is. Suave with another kill. He loves this car. Man looking to trade it. Suave finds him too. Triple kill for Suave. He's in lower con now. Is he going to pull an A Marcos? Let's see. They might not expect him to be in this little half wave. There it is. Another one. Pulls out the pistol. He's taken down though. And Rafinha they sniffed gets out. They sniffed out Nate Marcos long. Oh. Uh, they're cycling Swave long. They're cycling Candyman long. Just You're being right. a nuisance and getting yeah. around him. You're 100% right, Ace. Once they saw that that was the deal, they were sending three mid and one long. And they were like, all right, we can exploit this. Oh, man, just drew a shot from somebody now. Okay, now we're going to try to use Mountain to get back into mid here. Whoever that was, ladder might have dropped off. Oh, Insong's behind him. Insong's behind him. He got out DDs. He gets one. Insong looking for more. There it is, another one for Insom. He's clearing everything out, real methodical. Gets up into the window. He hears one in the water. Nice shot by Braddock. Wow. And again, we're in a situation where one team has the other team's flags. And now Heavyweights is like, wait a second, they, how'd that guy get behind us? He must have gone through DDs. We should probably watch that. Here he goes. Yep, there's a nade gonna kill him, though. Wow, 21. Let's see, scoping it out. Not using that really tight. There it is. He sees the sniper. Swab grabs the uh, second flag here. Man gets out of DDs. He feels confident in that no scope for sure. There it is. Goes over Khan. And he gets the pistol kill there. He knows there's still one midhouse. He has the car now. Sees one top steps. Gets him as well. Can he get this guy midhouse? Carpenter with an off angle. Big play. That had been another kill. They probably could have got mid off the back of it. Carpenter is taken down by Braddock though. Two off ladder. He's going to push white. And another triple kill for Braddock. He will not die to that nade either. They have a guy push sandbag. This would be the time to go for mid. They don't have ladder, though, I don't think. Mirison is alive over there. Braddock spamming away. Here's one going balcony. Oh, and big kill for Swade. They're going to hop on mid. It's going to be a bad time for it. Insom gets the shot from behind up for Khan. That's a lot dead for heavyweights. This might be a cap. There it is. Oh, no. That is unfortunate for heavyweights. They looked so great up until that moment. Yeah, and if they would have just capped out at the end of the last half, they would still be okay, but now it's... Oh, someone dropped. He joined, he tried to spec off and, and he joined the wrong team. team, oh no. Well, now that spec op didn't help him at all. He was on, he wasn't spawned, so it's not like he spec op because he died yeah, off yeah. initial, yeah. Before anyone thinks he pulled out like a fucking draft situation again. Insom on ladder finds jewels, which is a big, big get. Man does get swaved. His dead nade gets Rafinha, though. Insom just being a nuisance here on ladder with the car. There is a guy in mid-house, but he's not peeking him. And Oh, wait, he's dead. Rafinha, 90. Oh, no, he killed him. Never mind. That's a lot down on clinic side. Uh-oh, five down. It's three on five right now in favor of heavyweights. Who's left? It's Tom on the one. Heavyweights got to go for this mid-cap. They're not. Braddock pushes up sandbag again. Gets one. Looking for more. Spamming away with the pistol now. He's stalling him a little bit. He survives really long. If they're not peeking, they got mid. They do. Insom finds one off it, though. He is taken down by Jules, but they got two ladder now. Nade's incoming. He gets another, does Jules. Can he get another? He's spamming away with the pistol. He has to go prone to not die. Man flies up the ladder and no scopes Marison. Oh, my God, this guy. Anything goes. For real. And here comes the pressure applied on the one. Nay is found on the two, though, so that will get them back a second. Rafinha looking to get up ladder. They do have a guy on mountain steps. Matt does get a kill there as well. And Jules finds one sandbag. Carpenter with a, a key trade there. Matt grabs the first. He barely survives. 26 health. He finds Tom. Clinic does get the second, but Nay with a double kill there. Carpenter going to have to post up and pit now. Braddock with a suicide nade. Carpenter finds Nay and reinforcements have arrived. Oh my god. This is so close. I mean, it's 44 this half, so 28, but if, if heavyweights caps out again, they're leading again. And here we go. Clinic going to try to go through mid here. They got at least two top of mid steps. Kenny Man spamming away to upper con. There it is. Two kills. Anyone left here for heavyweights? I don't think so. It's Rafinha. He gets one, but that's not enough. 
Oh, wait, that wasn't up. Never mind, I lied. And so I'm going to push up Rakan. Is Nay there? He hears the spawn wave coming. Nay gets another kill with the car. Uh-oh. He's got the two. Is there anyone at the one? Carpenter top mid. Nay looking for the kills at Sandbag. Baits out the shot. Insom still fragging it there, too. And Nay is taken down. Insom going to flank up Rakan now. And there it goes. A little bit of space there for Clinic. Heavyweight's definitely going to need a cap out. Oh, and Clinic is applying pressure through long now. They know there's only one guy going. Oh, double nade by that one guy, though. Insom does get him. Rafinha alone in mid-house here. He's got to hold it down. Finds the flanker. Does not land it. There it is. He gets the kill. And Man finds the sniper as well. So Heavyweight's got to hang on to mid for dear, dear life. Respawns incoming. Braddock finds the guy at the one. And there it goes. Nice. Five down for Clinic. On the, now they're on the respawn wave. Oh, just got back. Yep. In some. Chucking nades in mid here. There it is. A wide peak. Man finds them. And there Braddock out of sewers. That's three down on Clinic. Tom finds one. Rafinha pushed up sandbag here. I'd probably hold an off angle, honestly. I don't know if I'd, I'm not confident enough in my reaction time to peek that, but he is. See if he can get one. Does find the sniper there. Nay is down on long, though, but that's a first flag cap here for heavyweight. No, he's traded by Merce, and I didn't see him there. Nay is spawned. He hears running over here. Is it a teammate? There's someone in apps. Must be a teammate. All right, what's going on here? Teammates, Jules pushing okay, up apps. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, man, I, he must hear him. He just threw back a nade. He did? Uh oh... Oh, a lot down on heavyweights now, too. And that's a first flat cap again for Clinic. Man, still fragging in mid-house. The last man standing again. He is very good at what this he's doing a right familiar now. territory. It him. really is. Like, we've seen this one before. Let's see if he can come out on top again. He hears a lot coming mid-steps. If I'm Carpenter, I'd go balcony right now and just peek him there. But a lot of snipers don't think to go balcony and not initials. There, too. there it is, Carpenter with a 2K in mid. Suave is up at the two as well, right at the spawn. If they don't nade this out, there it is. The nade will kid him. They got a nade mid two, though. Rafinha waiting at DDs. There will be nades coming for him. That's quite a few down. Carpenter up on the upper con steps. Nade incoming. Oh, no, Braddock with a TK. I, I thought so. Yeah, he didn't hear him. I was like, I thought I saw a guy coming underneath him. Tom trying to get the first back now here. Mac gets one. He is traded right away by Tom. Who's on the allied first? Oh, it's Insom. Insom with another kill there. Oh, they're going to do it from behind, aren't they? Clinic trying to wrap it around the back here. Insom's at DD's. He's got a flank it. There it is. He, oh, he missed it. But he still might have missed it again. He gets one. They still don't realize where he is. He gets a second. Oh, he's finally taken down by Rafinha. But my God. There it is. The two is nays. Rafinha at Sandbag gets another one. And another one. Hat trick. Oh, he almost got a fourth as well. Nade's got to hold this down. He gets one. Carpenter trades him. <laughs> Tom is all the way up. Oh, Matt found him. Four and a half minutes left here. And it is a fucking barn burner. Matt throwing a Nade Mountain Pit. Doesn't find anyone. Slowly making his way up. Sees a car. They will need a cap. They, yep, they definitely need a cap. And really, if they give up too many ticks, the cap won't do it. Ooh, Insom just missed that shot on the sniper. Oh, dead nade makes him fall back here, though. He's going to prime an aid for trips. Throws it ladder. Nice shot there on a flying Braddock. Oh, the dead nade kill Swab. And he's taken down by Man. Merson's alive here still, though. One. Uh, no. Nope, nope. Oh. Jules, yeah, Jules flanking. There it is. Jules gets the two. Swab finds him right away, though. Rafinha's got to grab this two back. There it is. He gets Carpenter. This is an all-out push here in the last few minutes. Murison finds one on Mountain. And you got to figure Clinic's going to start pushing through long as much as they can. Yep. I assume Jules is going to start going straight up long. Nope. Rafinha's over here now. Will they expect this? He just made a footstep, so they will now. Spamming away at each other is Jules and Candy, man. And there it is. Swab backing them up, too. And this might crack it open a little bit here. Man finds the Carpenter at top of mid, though. Jules has a nade primed. Does not have anyone there just yet. 
Clinic may elect to not even try to push for this two at this point, to be honest. Three minutes. They know they just can't afford to give up a cap. He sees one hole. Jules does get Candyman there. He knows there's one in apartments. Heavyweights has to break through on the mountain. Yep, big time. Uh, Here comes a big nade. Man finds the sniper again, having a hell of a game. Oh, Candyman with a drive-by on Rafinha there. Got Suave up in the hole. Nay is slowly making his way up. He might not check the right. There it is. Spamming away. He does get him. Three down. Let's see if they can do it. Tom was in mid by himself. Oh, no. That's four down. Good. Yep. Tom Mountain by himself. He's in pit. 33 health. He's got a sniper, at least. He's got the gun he wants. Braddock drive by him. It's going to be a mad dash. Up. Oh, got to go. Pistol, pistol. No. Oh, no. TK, Nate? Oh, my God. That was the chance for heavyweights there. Braddock does get one more with the bar. And another one! There's a dead nade waiting for him to get the one. Is there anyone at the two? No one's at the two now. Yeah, he's coming. Oh, and there's Suave and Pitt. Two minutes left to execute a full cap here. Tom gets the Matt first pushed back. up white, man. It's pushed up white. Oh, man. Oh, and Insom finds him. What a peak. Clinic may elect to go for mid here. Second kill. Nade comes, he will get out of the way. Strong defenses everywhere. It was an 18 point win for heavyweights first half. So if they cap out here, they win. If they don't, Clinic takes it. Oh, Rafinha's gonna get the one, I think. Oh, he just missed that shot. Rafinha looking to draw the peak, he does. Still alive, and he gets it! Rafinha's gonna get the one. Anyone at the two? I don't think so. And Rafinha finds another, he is traded though. This is insanity. They just cannot get both flags at the same time. They can get each of them individually, but they cannot break through at the right time. They got a minute to do it. Swab grabs a second. Uh-oh. Insom making his way into mid. He sees one mid-house. Oh, and Braddock with the jump. Rafinha looking for this guy. Lower con finds him. Carpenter I'm dead for clinic. Yep, it's all Carpenter. He's falling back to the two. He misses. He's still alive. He gets him. What a clutch by Carpenter. He hears more coming from the other side, though. Oh, and another ridiculous shot there on Rafinha. There's four going long. They're putting all their eggs in a long basket, and it does not come to fruition. 40 seconds left. Oh, there's a lot dead for heavyweights. They've been so close to capping out that one time they need. Rafinha with the nade kill on Insom here. It's all coming down to the last 20 seconds of this second map. Matt's going to make his way up mid-steps. Clinic has a guy watching the flank. It's Candy. He hits his shot. Braddock finds the guy in the one. And that's the first flag cap. Man gets the guy top mid. Ten seconds left. They're all here at the second. There's no possible way they can break through this. No way. There's not enough time. There it is. What an effort by heavyweights, but KTP Silver's first season champion is the clinic, undefeated. What a match. Good game. Wow. Way to, way to dig it out by clinic there. And some going crazy. Oof. 42. Wow. Wow. So, so, so close to getting the map three. Man. That was nuts. They they had the first and second separately about five times in that last, like, fucking eight minutes. Good lord. Yeah, both, both good matches, but that Harrington match was especially fun to watch. Yeah, dude, holy shit. It came down to the wire. I mean... <laughs> oh, thanks for the sub, Carpenter. Good game, good season, man. Holy shit. Congratulations on the undefeated finish, too. That was crazy. I'm, like, not going to be able to go to sleep tonight just from that. I didn't even play DLD. Yeah, huge grats to Clinic. Undefeated run. Hey, hope they, shotgun Derek. Hope they're in uh, gold Derek. next season. See what they can do. Right? They did call their shot at the beginning of the, of the season. They said they should be in gold, and they went undefeated in silver. So you got to say that they definitely should be in gold. Shotgun Absolutely. Derek, my man, is back with the follow. Welcome back. You should be playing DOD too, Derek. I know you do play sometimes because we played against each other like a month ago, but God, what a crazy match, dude. The clinic heavyweight or clinic heavies did a good job. On Ally's side, they were facing three guys, didn't really yield. 
on uh, Axis half, they just held it down as as heavyweights were running over middle. They just didn't give up ladder at all. Right. They really slowed them down. Yeah, and that was the key in the end, really. So things got dicey for a, a few different times there for Clinic, and their heavies came up big. Like, regardless of, of, I mean, their scores might not have been crazy, but they did their job flawlessly. Like, really just excellently executed as a heavy duo. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. Heavyweights, one of the key stats for the teams to take away when you look at the scoreboards is just how many TKs you have as well start cleaning those things up and all of a sudden you start capping out full caps a lot more right. as well yeah little things like that do make a difference when you have that one or two extra guys to to be pushing for a cap out on any given spot like that can be that can be the difference maker like that one tk from a few seconds earlier or even even when it comes down to like the spot respawn timers things like that matter you know and it's yeah i think heavyweights had five tks in, on harrington against clinic had you know, that one yeah, just that one grenade at the end. There. Yeah. And look what happened with that one. I mean, obviously that's yeah. a rare scenario, but just just crazy. Really well played by both teams. Uh, you know, heavyweights has nothing to bow their heads about there. Like they pushed Clinic to their absolute limit. So close. Twice on Harrington to taking Harrington from Clinic, but in the end, Clinic complete the undefeated season. John, are you still there? You got any last thoughts? No, it was pretty much exactly what I said before the Anzio match. I said that the uh, Harrington one was going to be up in the air, and it was. Big it was a good job by good job by both teams. Right, dude. Congratulations to Clinic. Congratulations to heavyweights too. Like seriously, be proud of that season. You guys played insane and very easily could have just won that Harrington match. Very easily. Any one or two little breaks go in your favor, and you guys are going to a map three there. So, Oof, man, I, I'm going to call it a night there. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Ace, Tony Compton, J-Rod, John Gale, for being here with me for a cast twice today. Jared and Jules were here earlier, but they dipped out. Uh, you guys want to si sign off for yourselves? Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks for letting us talk. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> Thanks, thanks everyone for, for watching and uh, supporting Corey. Yeah, thanks for all the subs. Corey streamed today, a lot of support. It's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Derek. Good to see you back in DoD. Thank you everybody for being here all season. We still got DoD left to have too. Only one match into the KTP Gold right? playoffs. Yeah, tomorrow five o'clock Eastern. We have T3 versus Over, which is going to be fucking crazy. And that's on Harrington, so we'll be back then. Good night, everybody. Be on tomorrow at 5 Eastern or be square. Peace.